Right now we're at 330 watts, 350 watts of solar. Okay, so we're getting kind of close to that 400 watt range. So now you can see how we have the panels set up. Oh, I should probably turn the light on. What's going on YouTube? This is what we Josh you. And this is an exciting video. We're gonna do the unboxing inside and then we're just gonna wait until there's a day that we have sun. This is the Opti Solex 400 watt panel. Here it is, OSSB 400 SP. Not much else to really talk about on the outside. So let's open it up and see what's on the inside. And also, I guess we could test and see how much solar we get with very little sun. So this was sent to me to make a video. I did not pay for this product. We have a box with some goodies in it. And then we have this thing. And we have, wow, some very thick cables. Very thick cables, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. That is super light for something that's 400 watts. All right, so I guess first we'll take a look at the box here. So this is the Solbrix S1, like a charge controller thing. I am not someone that knows a whole lot about this stuff. Honestly, I live in an apartment. I just have to like set the stuff outside in the sun and make the video. So we have instruction booklet here, the Solbrix S1. So basically each panel is gonna need to have one of these things and they're all gonna talk to each other. And basically you can plug the solar panel directly into a battery, which is awesome. We will go over this booklet more in a moment. And then in here, we've got some tools, I guess to release like, like I said, I don't know much about this stuff at all. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> oh, it says here, solar connector spanner wrench, extended installation bracket plate. And then also we have some screws. Wow, this thing feels solid and high quality. So we'll take a closer look at that. All right, here's the panel. I've got a couple 200 watt panels and this thing feels literally about the same weight as those. So we have a zipper pouch here. Okay, cool. So it comes with like some straps so you can carry it around your shoulders. And then it has the MC4 connectors here. And then on here we have some USB port. We're gonna take a closer look at this. So. Right now, this is just the unboxing. So we're gonna set that to the side. Yeah, and this says positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, I'm glad it's all, all uh, labeled like that. And then let's fold this thing out and take a look at it. Let's just, let's just take a look. So, okay, it's got these little clips here. Oh, and it's got a lock. So I was trying to undo it, but I couldn't because right here is a thing you push forward and then it can unlock. And then we have, what in the jolly freaking, what? Okay, okay, this is gonna require more room than I thought. This is big. Oh my, okay. Holy freaking. Dude, I'm gonna have to go wide angle. <laughs> Let's go wide angle. All right, I have to go wide angle here. So this is, look at this. Let's unfold this, fold this. Yeah, hey, oh, look at that. That's freaking nuts. <laughs> and then this zips up down here in the middle. Yeah, it's got a zipper on it. So it can separate into separate 200 watt panels. All right, super freaking cool. Oh, there's more here. There's this little, what is this? This is exciting and new. Oh, okay, so it's its own little thing. So I guess if you use it like separate as a 200 watt panel, interesting. All right, while well, I've got you here, let's take a look at all the numbers here. So USB can do five volts, three amps, nine volts, three amps, 12 volts, three amps, 15 volts, three amps for 45 watts. That's actually pretty impressive for a, a type C port on a solar panel. Uh, so yeah, you're looking at 220 watts for the unit and then 440 for the whole thing. 
So this is the super exciting part about this. So say whatever you're connecting to can only accept up to 18 volts or, you know, let's say, let's say 34 volts, right? Well, 36 is going to be too much, but 18 volts is going to be under that. So you could just separate it and use it as one panel. Now, if you can accept up to 36 volts, then definitely use it as an entire thing here. The short circuit is 811, so the operating... Uh, yeah, okay, so there's all the numbers and specs. You can read that. It's all there for you to see. So that's awesome. And then here you can see that we have that USB-C port. We have a standard USB and a fast charge USB. And we have a light. And then we have those MC4 connectors there. And then on this thing, if you were to want to separate the panel, all right, so it looks like it's gonna be more of the same stuff there that we just saw. So 42 volts for the open circuit and 21 volts for the open circuit. That's gonna be the numbers you wanna pay attention to the most for your uh, supply that says how many volts it can take. And then here on the 200 watt panel, we also have a USB-C, a fast charge, and a normal charge. And then while you're down here with me, you can see solar connector spanner wrench, extended installation bracket plate which is that thing right there. And then this unique tool here. I haven't used anything like that before. And then those screws. And then while we're down here, we'll also go over the instructions. We actually have a battery to connect this thing to. So that's exciting. All right, so I'm gonna basically try to go over this thing slowly and I'm looking through my lens so I'm not really reading it that well, but you have different methods. So you can do method one, or method two. Oh, that's that little bracket thing. Okay, so that's going to attach to the top of the panel, and then the soul bricks is going to attach to that. And then here we've got the battery, 12 volts and 24 volts, and all of the amps. Maximum power at STC for solar panel, 450 or less. So it shows all the different ways to connect it. I'm not an electrician, and I don't have a setup like this, so this is all very interesting to me. So yeah, you'll want soul bricks for each one that you have from what I'm seeing here. This is all crazy. And then we have like a thank you and disclaimer and eco-friendly, do not dispose of the S1 regular household waste. And then we have table of contents here. So this goes on and on. Yeah, we won't really spend a whole lot of time going over all this because hopefully your unit comes with the instructions too. So hopefully if something in here catches your eye, you can just pause it and take a look at it because I recognize that I might lose this booklet myself or you might get this second hand or used or something and it doesn't come with these instructions and I've actually referred back to my own videos that are old to see how something was connected or set up because the instructions are long gone the website is no longer existing or you know to download for that product is no longer there so talks about parallel connections here and then some more there short little thing here and then the last page so there you go awesome all right so they also sent me a battery and i'm gonna show that it basically connects the solar panel to the battery and you can charge directly from the solar panel so you don't need like a separate charging controller or anything like that because that's what the soul bricks s1 is supposed to do so, got some product manuals and information here. Post bolts here. Okay, okay. So, interesting. And we have the battery. And nothing else in there. All right, so we have the battery here. Again, this was not something that's gonna come with yours. You can buy this battery. They sent it to me so I can make this video. And we have the posts because I don't have a lithium battery. So this is really cool. This is awesome. It's a big 12 volt lithium battery. So it has Bluetooth and stuff in it. Take these off. And then in here, we've got washers and more washers and little caps to protect them. This thing can put out 100 amps at 1,280 watts. So got the screws. Let's just add the washer so I don't lose it. All right, so the screws are just kind of, you know, barely on there. We'll put the little caps, that's pretty neat. And then I'm gonna grab my phone and download the app. Well, shoot, my phone has an update. All right, so we'll just take a look at the battery real quick and 
we put the little terminals on. Here's all the specs there. You scan that. We're going to download the app to use it. And then there's a bunch of information here. Do not heat the battery above 158 degrees. That's hot. That is freaking hot. Exposed metal terminals, touch the uh, to cause damage. So yeah, so you can scan this QR code in order to see videos on how to actually use it or install it. And then here, it's just a picture of the battery. So again, this video is all about the solar panel, but uh, part of it is to show it actually, you know, the benefits of it, so. Hey guys, welcome to Lee Time's video. All right, so there's the app. We're gonna just install it, open it, I need an account. All right, so, <laughs> um, oh, you can scan the QR code. All right, that's pretty cool. And it shows the information from the battery. That's freaking sick. That's awesome. All right, so let's go outside and uh, play with the solar panel, connect the solar panel to this thing. All right, so it's been a very, very cloudy day. Like this whole day, it's just cloudy. There's just no sun. But I wanted to come outside and test what it would be like with this little bit of sun. Well, actually no sun, really. And we connect it to this power station that was completely dead. I drained it all the way until the fan stopped, the head plugged into stopped running. That's impressive. That's actually impressive. No freaking joke. All right, let me back up here. It is a cloudy, cloudy day. Look, I'm going to show all around. It is a cloudy day. There's the panels. And we're making 80 watts of solar. That's actually crazy. There is no sun at all, but we are still putting in the numbers. Now granted, yeah, that did say 18 hours with 80 watts. That is still a very long time. That's an entire day like that. But I'm still impressed we have that much solar with literally no sun at all. All right, so I went ahead and put the panel on my car. Go ahead and plug it in again. Oh, I bent the, oh, I was carrying it and I broke the connector. It should still mostly work. Sweet. <laughs> oh, I can't get over that. Oh, this has me so much more excited for a sunny day. Once again, look at that. Look at that. That's so crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's got me so excited. So excited. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait for another day because uh, we're just not getting any sun today. None at all. But this is still finding some. All right, so it's been some time. We've got some sun. It's up there behind that little tree. I'm just in a little shaded spot to sit, but the panel has complete sun. It probably would be best to build something where you can attach all those. Look at that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got like at least twelve little hooks on it to like wrap it around something. I live in an apartment, and I can't really build any big enough for that. And store it somewhere in my apartment. So right now we have this, we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what we see. All right, so check that out. We're good, 235 watts. That's impressive. Look at that. 
it's just flat. It could be laid on a roof of a car or like you could put it on top of your car, lay it on the front of your car, or your trunk, your bed of your truck. You, you know, you could build a little piece of cardboard or wood or something to, you know, tilt it towards the sun. You could definitely improve on that 235 watts. So this is a kind of big battery. It's 1100 watt hours. And it says that in five hours, it's going to be able to recharge this thing to full. Now that's great because we've easily had five hours of sun today. And what I'm gonna do now is hold this thing up and, uh, or try to anyway, and see if we can get even more sun. And I have the app recording on my phone here to get you an idea. So let's see what I can do. All right, so it's 4 p.m. in the day. We've got the solar panel up on the uh, hood of the car or the truck, should I say. And uh, we're gonna see, we got really good sun beaming down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to solar. Keep in mind, this is up to 60 volts, 10 amps. So we're within that. We're gonna connect to the DC. Sees that we are with solar. I did completely drain this thing. I connected a fan to it until it completely died. And since it's sunny outside, we are going to open the Blue Yeti app and we are going to uh, show you that on the screen. So right now we're at 330 watts, 350 watts of solar. Okay, so we're getting kind of close to that 400 watt range. Okay, so now you can see where how I have the panels set up. All right, so as you can currently see, we're getting 332 watts. And you can see how we have the panel on the truck. So what if we move this down? Does that make it better or worse? Okay, so 325, that's not too bad. We are currently under a cloud. It is a cloudy day. We're still getting 110 watts. That's because these are N-type cells. And these cells do really well. And now the sun's uncovered, we're back to getting over 300 watts of solar. So we've seen like 350-ish. Now these top panels are not, uh... hey, look at that, 345 though. If we could get this more, hey, and then bring these up, 350, but I know, I know I could do better than that. All right, so 350 watts, I'm pretty happy with that. I know I could do better, but it is what it is. All right, so we have the charge controller connected to the panels. And now we're gonna connect this one little thing here. Hey, it says charging 200 watts, 204 watts. This battery is now charging. I got my phone not to overheat. So yeah, battery, solar, charging right off of the sun. That's awesome. All right, now let's, um. Hold it up. Oh, that's where it work. Oh yeah. Curious what the waters will be. Now the whole panel lifted up. Is that 300? I don't know. I'm definitely curious to see what the uh, peak wattage was there. But right now in not ideal conditions, getting 200 watts of solar. So three hours and this battery will be fully charged and it's at half, so. And the beautiful part about that is you can combine all of those little chargers to multiple different panels that are all different wattages, voltages, sizes, doesn't matter. And that little thing's gonna do all the hard work for you. That's freaking slick, I like it. This thing is extremely light for 400 watts. And the convenience is unmatched of having just one panel to worry about. Not having two different panels to set up, get in the right position, figure out whether you're gonna do series or parallel and all of that work. This is much, much simpler. That's absolutely phenomenal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what Josh do and I'm out.